Oh, yes. This question is a very interesting one. Quite an original. You have a elastic cord and you hang something on it. This elastic cord has, you know, a total length L. I guess it's unstretched, unstretched total length, so L0. Cross-section area A, and you have two pins 8cm apart, as shown in the picture. So the cord or base hooks law, and you hang a load on it, 0.4kg. The angle between the cord is 60, so I guess you could label them 60 degrees if you want to. But anyway, let's keep going. What are we supposed to find? What is the young modulus of the cord material? Wow! Usually they ask for tension forces, but this time they ask for the young modulus. So you need to know what young modulus is. If you don't know, you can't calculate. So young modulus can be calculated. I use E for young modulus. Is stress over strain. So that will be stress over strain. Also known as force per unit area over uh, extension over original length. So you can simplify this a bit to be F L0 over AX. L0 is original length. So do we know the original length? Let's do a quick check on info. Yes, we do. 16 cm. Do we know the force acting on this string? Oh, we don't know that. You need to find that. Okay, mental note. Do we know the cross-section area? Yes. Do we know the extension? No. So we need to find F and we need to find X. That's what we don't know. Let's start off by finding x first, since that is the easier one. What is your original length of the string? 16 cm. You know, 8 cm on both sides. Oops, wrong color. 8 cm here, 8 cm there. But what is the total extension on the right? Or total length? So the length on the right is 8, 8, 8. I guess it's also 8. Okay, this is a, a special kind of triangle, equilateral triangle. So 60, 60, 60. So the total length has become 24, which means that the extension will be 24 minus 16, because 16 is the original length. So you have an extension of, what's 24 minus 16? 8 cm extension. Done. We have found one piece of important information that will help us in this question. Now, the other one, force. How do you find the force acting on this rope. You know, the force uh, is basically tension. And it doesn't matter where I'm talking, whether I'm saying tension here or tension here or tension here. It's tension. So you can just find any one of those and that will give you the force. So how do you start though? Here's what we can think of. This system is in equilibrium, right? So that means this mass is exerting a weight mg on the string and somehow these both sides of the tension is counter what do you call that nah let me mind let me let me just write it this way tension here and tension here so if you want to what you call that you want to write it in a, a free body diagram you would draw something like this you will say okay so mg equals to both vertical tension so 2ty because you know there's two T's and you got to resolve them into components, the vertical component, something like this. There we go. So with this in mind, this is an important one. Draw a star there. Do you think of this? Mg equals to 2 Ty. From there, we can find what force or T is. We need to find T. Okay, T is what we need to plug in in there. So this is T. You know, the area is too bit too long. I'll just draw something like that. T. We need to find T. So 2TY equals mg. Okay, let's take another space here to write out some, some working. So we do know that because the object is in a s equilibrium, the mass is just chilling there, hanging. So 2TY equals to mg. Then the next question is, what is TY? Can we look at this thing a little bit? Can we redraw this triangle a bit? Yes, we can. So if we want to find Ty, you need to resolve the component of T into its vertical component. So this is Ty. So if that is 60, this is half the angle, 30 degrees. So 30 degrees adjacent hypotenuse. Ah, okay. So Ty, if I write here, a quick working, sine of 30 is adjacent. Wait, 
sin so so sin ah not sin sorry cos thirty. It's like adjacent hypotenuse. Wait, something's wrong. Cos of thirty adjacent is T Y. Hypotenuse is T, and we want T Y. So T Y will be T cos thirty. Very nice. So let's plug this in our equation to get an expression for T. So two times of T cos thirty will be mg. Ah, what is mg? Ah, did they give us mg? Oh, zero point four kg. Okay, let's write everything out. Zero point four times nine point eight one. And I rearrange, skip some steps, and find what is T. I get a pretty big number. Not actually not big. A lot of decimals. Two point two six five five newton. This is also known as AKA F la. So we're going to plug this force into our equation now to do the final calculation for everything. Oh, that's a lot of space here. I did not know that. Why so crowded? Hmm. Okay, so let's do our calculation for the Young's modulus. Force, which is the tension acting along the whole string, also known as tension. If you find one side, you are good ready because the tension is the same everywhere. So force times L0 over AX. That will be 2.2655. We already times 2 up there to account for both sides because, you know, 2ty. Original length, 16 cm. Let's convert it to 0 0.16 meters. Divided by cross-section area is 2 times 10 negative 6. Well, very small. Oh. 2 times 10 negative 6 in meter square. So all is good. No need to convert. Last one, extension. We found it just now. 8 cm. So we're going to do 0 0.08 meters. Is it Newton? Okay, looks good. End of the day, press calculator. I will get 2265500, depending on how many decimals I have for my force. Or I can express it in standard form, which is using my calculator to help me out. 2.3 times 10 to the 6 pascals. So C is the answer for this situation. Okay, so wow, that was a bit tricky, right? I think one of the main challenges is we don't know what force to use when we're trying to calculate. Yes, we know the, the equation for Young modulus, but what do you plug in? So you need to remember that this uh, this mass right here will have some weights pulling down, okay? And that weight is balanced by the tension forces. Tension forces, vertical component. So two of those. So that's why the 2TY is very important here. So draw a star here if you didn't on your working. Make sure you get this one down. Okay, so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one. Any comments or doubts, just throw it down below. Okay, bye-bye.